will someone drive an ice cream truck to my apartment, please? Hi guys, today on So Craftastic, I am doing a clay charm tutorial that is perfect for summer because it's a little bitty snow cone. Look how tiny it is. Ooh, <laughs> that was annoying. I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can make them in this video. If you like my clay videos and want to see more, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now let's take a trip to the ice cream truck. That means on to the tutorial. To make a snow cone charm, start out with some white polymer clay. You're going to roll a small piece of it into a ball and then shape the bottom part to resemble a cone. So you'll want a point at the bottom and then you'll want it to stay rounded at the top. Now make a really thin snake and you're going to wrap it around the top like I'm doing here. If you want to turn your snow cone into a charm, go ahead and add an eye pin before you bake. I like to use some TLS to help the eye pin stay in. Here's another way to form the base of the snow cone. You can take a separate piece of white to turn that into the cone shape. Use a ball tool to hollow it out a little bit and then take another color for the top part of the snow cone and just secure that to the cone. And then hide the seam with a thin snake of clay. Once your bases are complete, it's time to bake. Preheat your oven and then follow the baking instructions on your specific package of clay. Now I'm going to show you how to decorate. For the snow cone on the left, I used craft sand and for the snow cone on the right, I used clear micro marbles. You'll also want some triple thick glaze, which I got from Hobby Lobby, and you want this kind of glaze because it's thicker than Sculpey glaze. Here I'm scraping off some purple chalk pastel. You can use any color you want. I'm making sure I have enough micro marbles or sand, your pick, and just go ahead and pour those out on the plate. Now I'm going to add some triple thick to that pile of chalk pastel. Be sure to put the lid back on right away, and then mix your powder and glaze together with a toothpick. I'm also using the toothpick to put it on top of the snow cone. Once the top of your snow cone is covered, it's time to dip it in the micro marbles or sand. You can also make multicolor snow cones, but be sure to let the colors dry in between. Here's one of mine that's been drying, and I'm going to add a second color to it. If you decided to use colored clay for your snow cone, then there's no need to add chalk pastel. Just go ahead and put glaze right on top and then dip it in your choice of topping. I don't know about you, but I find it really, really difficult to keep the white cone clean. If you're having the same problem that I am, no worries. You can just clean this off with some nail polish remover and a Q-tip. So any excess glaze or coloring and even dust will come right out. For my charms that I poked a hole in before I baked, I'm just going to add some E6000 glue to the end of an eye pin and poke that in right now. And 
then we're done. If you end up making your own snow cone charm, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this clay charm video. Last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you guys how to make duct tape pinwheels and they actually spin. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. A lot of you guys sent in photos to me. So here are all the amazing, cute, fantabulous, fantastic, amazing, did I say amazing twice? Really cool pinwheels. So here's a ton of pictures, like I said, that people sent in. Thank you so much for showing me all of your wonderful creations. They're super cute and they spin. Ooh. Go ahead and check out all of my links in the description box below, especially to my Instagram because that's my favorite app in this world. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Pinwheel power. Crayon shaped bow. Crayon shaped bow. running in place on the couch while sitting down. My gosh, I am talented. Boat has